But also tonight, a two on your side investigation into an internet provider that's left hundreds of customers high and dry. Consumer reporter Shelly Bailey Shaw started working this story when viewers contacted two on your side looking for help with this. Shelly? Natalie, after a month of digging, we've uncovered even more questions about CyberKinetic's owner and his business practices. Tanya Meyer and Ed Gallagher are customers of CyberKinetics, a locally owned Internet provider serving about 500 customers, mostly in the Willamette Valley. Both of them depend on the company for emails and web hosting. But after prepaying for the month, some customers a whole year, the service went down the first week of February and didn't come back. There's no way to get those emails to go anywhere else. There was zero information from them. Distraught customers descended on CyberKinetic's office in Wilsonville. There has been a long parade of people. Steve Pearson not only had a business next door to CyberKinetic's, but he was a customer too. Being so dependent on the Internet, it just it made Basically shut us down. For a month? Yeah. Because of the turmoil, the property manager told CyberKinetics to move out, and they did with no word to their customers. Hi. Hi how are you? More than a month later, we found CyberKinetics owner John Ogden operating his business out of the Salem house. Explain to me exactly why it is that customers Cyber don't Kinetics, have service. Yes, yeah, simple. CyberKinetics.com registrations, the name, name names, has been stolen. The servers have been hacked. The database has been hacked. Yet the domain registration shows that happened February 20th. That's nearly two weeks after CyberKinetics went offline. Les Fennison sold CyberKinetics to Ogden in May. He says the reason the company went down in the first place was because it didn't pay its Internet and phone bill tens of thousands of dollars. And Fennison says he hasn't been paid in full either. He had 30000 left to pay me by August 12th. Of 06. And? No money. Ogden owns another internet company named Technical, or Technical Holdings, Technical Networks, Technical Management Services, or Technical USA, depending on which state document you're looking at. No here. Technical was evicted from this downtown Salem building last year. The property manager says the outstanding bill for rent and storage, more than $27,000. And I can assure you, I owe, he owes me over $36,000. Because of destroyed equipment? That is correct. Then there's Betty Perry, who invested with Ogden in 2003. In the neighborhood of $300,000 when everything is... Added up. There was a settlement in the case, but Ogden nor his attorney will comment. I was going to retire next year. <laughs> so sorry. So you're still working because of this? Oh, yeah. I mean, everything goes back to this person stole from me, that person stole from me, I don't know that person. Now, I can tell you straight up, I run a very, very good business. I offer service. People are using it. And, uh, Not many people are using it right now. After our interview, this message was posted on CyberKinetic's website, offering customers a refund. As directed, we had both Tanya and Ed submit a request via email. The email bounced back, and neither has gotten a dime. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought I would have run into somebody like this to, to buy my business. So I almost feel guilty for selling it to them. I'm subject to us getting our the name name back. Cyber Connectors will be back in business. John Ogden is also selling services on eBay, eBay under the name Voice One Direct. Now, we've contacted the Oregon Attorney General's office. They have opened an investigation and are taking complaints. And as with any other consumer problem, all you have to do is um, file your complaint online. And he says they're going to be back up. It will be back up in service. He couldn't say when or how. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. He also said that people were going to get refunds, and so far that hasn't Not happened. Not happening. Very good information for us, Shelley.